Hey, mister, do you want to show us how to use that seatbelt? another episode of Dad's Swag Garage. I'm again pretty excited to bring you another episode where we're putting on cool parts on Project Judith Ann, the Sleeka back there. Um, today we are doing seat belts from a company called Retro Belt and they supplied me with these really awesome belts um, going into the car. It was actually perfect timing because the old ones were pretty much shot and I was starting to wonder what am I going to do? So if you guys are in need of belts for your car, these are a really good option. Um, we've got an aviation style belt here, lift buckle, and clips together like any other car. Got a release there. So yeah, I'm going to give you a little close up on these in a sec here. But let's get right into this. Let's have some fun. Let's get her done. It's going to be cool, guys. So these are the belts here guys and girls. Each belt comes with instructions on how to use them. Very nice. And they're kind of on here, you just have to take them off later. But they're this style of uh, buckle ends here. And th they clip together. You just open this up here. I can't do it with two hands or with one hand. Um, but nice black. You can get them in a lot of different colors if you check out their website. Uh, they come in a lot of the classic car colors, which is cool. So we got here a non-retractable pair of belts. The car is a four-seater, so we have a pair for the back. So there's those guys. Then the front and driver and passenger seat. We have these. They bolt to the transmission tunnel, and these will bolt in the factory location. I'm going to be building some brackets out of the original ones to make these work. And if you need hardware, they supply hardware. I think we'll be doing a little mix and match of original and this stuff because the original had bolts here. But I think we can use some of the washers and lock washers and stuff like that. Is kind of wasn't sure, so I ordered that as well. But these are my old seat belts, guys. Falling apart, like they're crusty and really stiff. Just from me trying to clean them, having the cleaners in there. So we'll get into this right away. It's going to be cool. I'm very excited to have these lap belts that are like old aviation hot rod style belts. I love old hot rods. So I'll put a little piece of that in this car. So let's get right into this. And I think we're going to start with installing probably the ones in the transmission tunnel. We'll save these guys for last. Then we'll go to the back seat belts. So for the lap belts here without the retractor. Your part number you're going to be looking at is 258-BLK-60-21. And if you need the retractors, they come in pairs. 259-BLK-21. So that is your part numbers, guys. Another thing you can do if you're concerned about a little bit more safety, they offer shoulder belt, lap belt combo. And I know the Celica does have a mounting point to do a shoulder belt. But I'm going to leave that out at this point and just keep it simple. Lap belt. Most guys don't even use the shoulder belt. Like whenever I ride with my dad in his 70 Nova, all we ever use is a lap belt. Because the shoulder belt's another thing to drag across, set up. But if you have your it all ready to go on one retractor, it's a nice modern upgrade. So keep that in mind, guys. Check out their website. They have a lot of options. It's retrobelt.com. And check them out. They got some really cool seat belts. So we'll get you a little demonstration of how these clip together and how they work. Because I was kind of curious myself when I saw them online. 
So stick them in. You can't just jam it. You got to lift the buckle and then so to take it apart, pull it out after you lift the buckle. Go and send this together nicely. This end is not adjustable, but this guy is if you need more room. We got a, a nice adjustable end. You just pull it, it adjusts, and then a little retainer clip here. And these guys for the retractable belts, you got lots to work with here, more than I can show at this angle. And then that plugs into this end here. And that is also adjustable. So if you want to get a little bit more tighter, you just pull it here. And all the ends that bolt into the car look like this, except for retractable end, or the retractor looks like this. So very nice, awesome. And I'm looking forward to putting this in the car. So this here is the retractor from the Retro Belt seatbelt kit. This here is something I'm thinking about. I've got a bit of a sleeve because otherwise I gotta reach way behind the seat. And this will be bolting into the factory location. Here and here is what I'm thinking might happen. And all I did was take it off of the factory retractor. You can see here's the factory one. Uh, that way it will extend the seat belt a little bit further. The other thing I do is paint these up. So I figured this will be the first project I'll tackle is getting these painted with SEM so they have time to dry while we install the rest. Uh, you'll also see, throw this in there. This is all that's left of one of these. I'm taking it apart. We're gonna mount it in the car and probably run a bolt through here and here in the factory locations. And then we can mount this seat belt in a factory spot and I think it should work very well so that will happen in this video but I want to start with prepping two of these guys picking the best ones I got cleaning them and painting them just before you guys get too worked up these belts are really no good anymore they could be rebuilt. I'm not going that route. I have something I like better. And if you see up close here, it's frayed. So we'll just make sure it doesn't get used again. Because all we needed was this sleeve. And then I'll probably pull this guy apart here and we'll get our other bracket like this. So I got these two pieces here. The seat belt sleeves. I've shortened off the ends for one reason alone, and that is because it was starting to crumble on top here and kind of come apart. That allows me to have a piece that won't continue to tear here for a while. So we can run these. And the nice thing is, if I find a full set that is still usable, I can always remove them from the retractor and paint them up. So, what I'm going to do now is clean these and paint them. Got some color coat here, Landau black, matching the rest of the interior. And you coat one side, it dries pretty quick. We'll flip it and spray the other side. Gonna dry, we're gonna flip it. All right, these are gonna dry. We'll go work on the rest of the system. I'm looking inside the car here now. Um, I'm gonna clean up this rug yet. It's got a little dirty from working, but this is a factory buckle for driver's side seat up front, and it bolts to the drive shaft tunnel here. I'm gonna unbolt it, and we're gonna compare it to what I got from Retro Belt. And the plan is to use all the original anchor points for these seat belts. Here's the Toyota one we just pulled out. Here's the Retro Belt one, and just to take note, the chrome is actually really nice. There's a protective coating on here. Uh, side note for the rest of the video, keep that in mind. So these are the mounting points. They both should work. I'm thinking I'm going to use the factory hardware, and it will bolt in because it's got threaded bolts to the floor. So 
it says, uh, I believe it, it's a good idea to use your factory mounting points if they are there. If you got an older car, that's where these hardware kits came in. I was figuring I could probably use some of these heavy duty washers and maybe these bolts to do the retractors. So I'm gonna look at removing this piece here and then we'll bolt to the floor. The Toyota buckle mount is here uh, and the retro belt one is here. The holes look to be the same size. This angle just kind of makes this look bigger. So we got the bolt here, um, what lock washer goes on there and then this sleeve goes on the other side. And I think that's what allows the belt to do its swivel motion when you put it on. So I'm going to get that fit up. So that's what it looks like sitting on the belt. And I put it on what feels like upside down because the way this will come around your lap when it's on, the buckle actually sits upside down if you were to lay it flat across the floor. So I'm gonna bolt that in the car. And we got a little extra belt to work with here, but I do like it's got this securing piece. Since we have supplied hardware, I'm gonna use it. It, I think it'll be a better situation. It's new, it's designed to work with these seat belts. So you know they're the right grade. I believe they're grade five. So this will go in, then it slides through here. So lock washer there. And Toyota had this little spacer. It's just gonna go on the back side here like this. So it's a spacer and I think it's to help it swivel. I'm not sure. It also allows it to sit the right depth on the carpet um, to get your, I'm guessing to get your proper torque. So that's where it's gonna sit right there. And we'll pull the seat belt around front. There's the buckle. I'm gonna leave the protective plastic on it for now. Uh, I'll probably potentially need to work on things and I don't wanna scratch up that chrome. I know chrome's durable, but we wanna keep it even nice. Well, that was a snap. New hardware, new seat belts sitting in here. They look right. And check this out, guys. So they fit in the factory place. I'm not sure. I think they go that way or they could go this way. Good. I can make up my mind yet how I want to want to do that. I think I like it better without the tension. So here are the sleeves that I've cut down and refinished with Sem. You can see you can actually get the seat belt to fit in the factory sleeve and it won't pull back through very easily. And you just gotta fold this guy over. So you just fold them over and then you put it back up over itself like that. And you kind of just push it through there with a pen. This is what I use because it's a little more blunt with the cap on and it goes in there. Now they're both in the sleeve. So this is kind of the plan for the seat belt. It'll swivel on here. We'll get some washers in here. Right back here, it's hard to see because it's a black screw, but it's screwed down to the other side of the original seat belt mount. Now I have an issue with this, even though it works perfectly. I feel that this bolt in there is not big enough because originally the seat belt was designed from factory to have two smaller bolts holding in one inerta reel. Now we have one of them in theory holding the whole thing in and the other one's just holding this guy. So I'm gonna build a brand new bracket to mount this. I would have a little bit thicker gauge steel than what I, what's here, it's what I got in the shop. And we'll get that piece powder coated in a nice crinkle finish and get it looking about as factory as possible. I'll show you my plan for that. All right, um, I came up with a plan and I feel best about this idea. Initially, we were gonna reuse this bracket. What this bracket will do is allow me to get whole alignment and real angle. Because if you look at the bracket here, when it sits in the car, it sits this way and it sits this way. So if we flip it around, there's angles here. Um, that I think is where it has to sit. It was engineered to work that way. So 
it should probably go back in that way. We also have this bracket. It's not a bracket, just a plastic cover. Originally it sat on top of here. This is gonna be my template. I'm gonna make this exact shape out of steel and we're gonna put these holes back in it. And that'll allow these factory style bolts. They can then go through it, hold down one on each end and then we'll add one more hole through it here where this hole on the seatbelt retractor will go through. With this heavy duty hardware, what everything else in the car is mounted with. And that should be a nice strong mounting point. Those seat belts aren't gonna go anywhere. And if they are, they would do the same on a factory belt. I've got my two plates made, one for each side, patterned off of here. I think it'll work very nicely. Uh, and then I just built one and I reversed the other. And then this guy will mount, this guy will mount here. So I want to do test fitting now, and I think there should be no issues here. I think we're also going to weld on one of these nuts to the back side of each, so you can just bolt it on the way that you would from factory, and I think it should work really good. All right, guys, I'm going to weld on, I do a weld nut kind of thing on here. So it should bolt on nicely. We'll do that right away. The ground would help. All right, that's done. Let me show you how to heat treat this. Snow is good for one thing. This will cool her down real fast, guys. That's pretty much cool to touch now, once the hissing stops. Just to show you, I can handle that that quick. So I've got the seat belt in place here. Um, there's a lot of scratches in that guy, but that's all I got right now, guys. But that's not the point. The point is this thing is in there. I think it works very well. It'll also go down like factory was supposed to. It's got the movement here. Belt operates smoothly. So, yeah, I tested it out. I could sit in there. We'll get you guys the other angle. And there's the rest of it, just from this angle. The rug's kind of worked itself out too in the corner here. I've kind of managed to make it work. I think that fold will be mostly under the seat there. And the driver's side one is in. Time to put the back seat in temporarily and figure out where those seat belts need to run. So I'm gonna bolt the seat belts in place for the back seat and it'll be a visual for you guys and for me because I wanna see what it looks like and I'm sure you wanna see it as well. And the seat will come back out for uh, finishing up the stereo wiring and doing the side roller window uh, mechanisms. I'm in the back seat area here and the supplied hardware or the hardware kit that I ordered, it bolts right in. So we got one, two, three, four. So these are the old seat belts. They had a buckle and then one of these guys here, not a bad system, but that was your adjustment. This is the retro belt set up here. The aviation buckles here. And this is the other end of the buckle. Now the thing is with this one, it will dangle to here if it's not shortened. We have a place in town that will shorten seat belts um they'll do it correctly so i'm going to get this one and its corresponding one for the other side shortened up a little bit i should also say 
These belts are also designed probably for like a big Chrysler charger or something like that where you will need the longer belts or if you're gonna go throw them in, let's say something like my in-laws 1956 Fairlane. So I'm assuming in something like a Fairlane, uh, for example, because that's the classic car that's from my family that doesn't have seat belts, you're gonna be running the, them all the way to the floor. And so you'll need this extra length that's here. So that'll work well for that application. But my car being small and literally the seat belts bolt about an inch past where you see it, that's the only reason I'm shortening this. No discredit to the company. It's just what this car needs. I wanted to show you guys exactly how much I'm pulling out of this belt. It's looped over once. So that takes out about a hand's width here in terms of webbing. And that is the right amount for this Celica, going on factory belt sizes as well. I'll show you what I mean here, because we want to keep this close to factory as possible. So, uh, webbing to webbing, it's very close in that range. I'm slightly longer, but the other side is adjustable, the side that buckles into this. So, there we go. Just got these back from a local upholstery uh, place. They're called soft blind fabrics. Thank you very much uh, for doing the shortening job on these. But they look just like factory. The same way that retro belt would have done. The seat belts are installed. And that's kind of why I had it shortened is so it would just hang just nicely to match this guy here. And they look really good. So We'll call that a wrap on the seatbelt install. Thanks for hanging out with me in the shop today. We got seatbelts in the car and I'm very pumped about these seatbelts. It is one of those little details that really, it brings it to another level and they look really cool in there. I've always loved the aviation belts and I'm uh, very thankful that these worked as well as they did. They're pretty much a bolt-in. We had to do two little customization things in terms of uh, two belts needed shortening and I had to build the custom brackets, so a little bit of fabrication there. But it was totally worth it. They look awesome in there. Thank you very much Retro Belt for sending those over and they rock. So as always, get in your shop, get some stuff done, and have fun. We'll talk to you later.